Tony Cheryl here with another video to our kitchen utensils uh, series. And today, as you can see, we're going to be talking about pots and pans. Uh, because pots and pans are essential to have in our kitchens. Okay, we're going to go over some of uh, the pots and pans I have right here, which would be standard in most kitchens. Uh, right here, one of our pots is missing, but I put the lid here. It's a, uh, another saucepan. But anyway, let's start with the saucepan. Okay. The saucepan, we use this for a variety of things. We heat up like frozen vegetables, canned vegetables. We boil water. We fix soup. We do so many things with the saucepan. I think the saucepan is really uh, essential in the kitchen because like I said, there's so many things you can do with it. I know sometimes when I make iced tea, because I don't have one of those fancy iced tea machines, I will boil my tea bags in this pot right here, you know, depending on uh, what size picture that I'm going to get. But yeah, a saucepan we use for many of things. And even when making like spaghetti sauces, a small batch of spaghetti sauce, you know, you can use this. And all, you also have your lid to your saucepan, all right? It's, you know, and I also, pop popcorn in this pot, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, pop popcorn in this because the other one is too big, so, yeah, and like I said, you have your lid, you know, to cover up everything, okay, this is our saucepan, okay, and also our boil your water for every other thing pan, pot, I should say, okay, now move this out the way, and right here we have our standard frying pan, where you can fry, fry if you eat meat, you fry your chicken and make gravies and oh yeah, you can make gravy in your your, your sauce pot pan too. And um, yeah, you're all around fry pan. I myself particularly don't care for this particular fryer pan right here. Uh, even though it's stainless steel, these are stainless steel pots and pans. It's supposed to be the best, and uh, they tell you that you should use. But to me, it's not a good pan because even if you fry chicken in this pan, the heat isn't, uh, it doesn't fry evenly, and it, it tends to get hot, and the chicken usually, you know, gets too brown. You know, they might get a little dark brown spot on it. And if you fix things like um, rice aroni or something, you know, any anything like that, and it, it'll stick to the bottom of the pan, and um, which I don't think is a good idea either. Um, and even when you fix, like, uh, let me bring the saucepan back. I have fixed. Uh, uh oh, I have fixed different things like rice in this pan and even the rice stuck to the bottom of it. Even if I put a little bit of oil or some butter for those who wanted it, it would actually stick to the bottom of the pan. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, anyhow, anywho, like I said, your frying pan, you fry whatever you're frying. Um, I have never baked anything in this. Okay, now this whole set belongs to my daughter. Because, you know, this is her, you know, I'm at my mom's house, as you know, taking care of my mom, and most of the stuff in here belongs to my daughter. So, um, this is her stuff, and like I said, it's, you know, I'm not going to say brain name. It's supposed to be a good set, but uh, to me it's not. But this is just some of your essentials that you need. If you find a good set, then or a good fryer that you buy by itself would be good, okay? Um, you don't have to just fry stuff in here. I, I make, so I saute vegetables in here too. Like one of my favorite things to saute is spinach and I uh, saute it in here. So yeah, it'll saute real good. If you're using a good uh, oil or something, it's not too, too bad, but other stuff, starchy stuff will really stick to it. Okay, now that's the fryer. Okay, our next, move this out the way, put it over here, is our standard stock pot, which you make soups and stews and spaghetti and you boil water and you might even boil some whatever, 
the, the stock pots that you know stand by old standby and as you can see with all the pots they all have their own separate lid now that's one thing I could say that's good about this particular set each pot has its own separate lid and you don't have to worry about sharing just like uh, like I said there's uh, another saucepan missing I have the top but I don't know where the pot is the pan is okay now this is handy for a lot of stuff so yeah your standard stock pot so anyway I just wanted to come back and do a video on one or another one of our kitchen utensils that we need. I was going to do skillets, but I'm going to do skillets on a separate video because there is a lot you can say in what you can do with skillets. So, uh, yeah, pots and pans, another needed kitchen utensil. Or would you call these utensils? I think you would. Anyway, again, uh, thank you for sharing. And if you haven't already... Uh, comment on the video for the uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Go look at that video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, comment. And, if, and what the giveaway is, is a dough whisk, a Danish dough whisk. And if you want to win the dough whisk, put in your comment, dough whisk. Something in there, say something about the dough whisk. If I see the word dough, the words dough whisk, I know you want to be entered into the drawing. So, uh, with that, um, is there anything else I want to say about the pots and pans? No, that just about covers it. So, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. And again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, leave a comment and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Shalom. Mm -hmm.